Ali of the Kansas City Chiefs in studio with us here, uh, doing some stuff with the Vizio Fandemonium. We'll get to that in a little bit. But I want to talk about your career because, you know, you come out of Penn State and you've been in the league now eight years, your first-round pick. And I think when whenever you're a first-round pick, they want to see you just destroyed immediately. And it didn't happen for you right away. And maybe because it took a little bit longer, I almost feel like you're underrated because you've been so steady now for four years. And I don't know if you're talked about enough in the NFL. Yeah, um, you know, my transition into the league, it's not like the norm. You know, I was undersized as a player, as people would say. I should have been taller as a defensive man. And, you know, I had another great pass rusher on my right, Jared Allen. And, um, but, um, you know, with, with, with good coaches and a steady system, I think success will come in, in learning the game. You know, our position, the position I play, you have to be able to learn how to play that position. You can't, everybody can't just rush the passer. You know, you have to learn how to rush the passer and you got to be relentless in doing that. I'm so glad you said that because we were just, this is such an appropriate conversation Uh because we were just talking and he was saying that he think the quarterback position is easy to play. And I would contend that you would have a trouble picking up a defensive lineman's position to play because I think that's the thing that people don't understand, the mental aspect. And you just said you can't just rush the passer. Can you explain to my man, maybe to my man Ryan, maybe put it into words how complicated the defensive schemes just on the defensive front alone are? Well, especially with our new system, um, we have a, a bunch of blitzes. Um, you have to know the coach is going to send you inside sometimes. He's going to send you outside sometimes. Sometimes you can do whatever you want. And you can't, when you're rushing the passer, you can't just jump inside and then the quarterback. You see that happens with me all the time. Sometimes I go inside, the quarterback rolls out. You know, so it, it, mentally it, it, it's taxing, but physically you got to know how to beat a guy one on one, and that's what we pride ourselves on. And that just doesn't happen overnight. A lot of reps, a lot of time, and, and a lot of tape. You know, sometimes they give it away. Okay, let's just back up here for a second <laughs> because the idea that I have at any point said I could just play or I thought it was easy is a joke. All kind I of said, downplayed no, that no, no. All, all I said was I think eventually the terminology. Like we hear it from the outside, and people go, "Oh my gosh, it's it's so so complicated." But when you're in it, I mean, clearly after a while and in your system, I mean, you you understand every one of your responsibilities. I, so you know, I can well, learn a new make, system. I was just trying to make me look bad here. Uh, your defense right now, does it start with you and, and Justin Houston, your teammate up front? No, I think it's all of us. Uh, we have a, a bunch of guys that pride themselves on playing real good. You can start with Flowers, the corner. The cornerback, uh, the guy who never really get talked about most, um, you know, I believe is probably one of the best corners in the league, and, and he prides himself on covering uh, the team best player every week, and uh, does a tremendous job doing that. And then Eric Berry, who you know basically rovers around the entire field, he plays safety, but it's like a, he's like a linebacker. And then you know you got DJ and Houston and, and Paul, so we all we all pride ourselves, you know, tax and. Uh, uh, Tyson Jackson, we all pride ourselves on, on on playing at a high level. I know this is hard to believe because you guys are 9-0, and you're undefeated, and yet it almost seems like you guys don't get the respect that you deserve because people still say, all right, look at the schedule, they play backups, whatever reason there is an excuse. Do you think that's the case? Do you guys aren't getting enough respect? Yeah, I, I think that's the case because uh, when the schedule first came out, people looked at the schedule, they didn't believe uh, we would win the games that we were going to play. And, and those teams that were, were, were facing people knew that those were playoff caliber teams, you know, at, at the beginning of the season. And after we won those games, people say, oh, well, you know, those teams are not doing well. And, you know, and now they want to see what's going to happen in the second half. And, you know, we really don't pay too much attention to it. We, we just want to be one and know every week. Tom Ali of the Kansas City Chiefs in studio ESPN Radio. I guess this always leads to this, like, what was the problem last year? What I mean, what went wrong if there's this many studs on one side of the football? Um, you know, I, I'm not going to point fingers, but I think the staff that's come in, I think the Hunt family's done a tremendous job in bringing Coach Reed and the staff, Bob Sutton and uh, Gary Gibbs. Those uh, uh, those guys, uh, they all they, they do a great job in preparing us each week to go to play against our opponent. Um, each coach, even assistant, has to stand up there and tell us, you know, what they are watching what they're doing and 
and uh, from a scouting standpoint, and that's been a first in my career to see each defensive coach, even an assistant, get up there and, and talk about the team we're facing. How surprised were you by this whole Miami Dolphins situation with Richie Cognito and the, some of the things that are coming out now? I mean, you've been in the league for eight years. You've been through different locker rooms. You've seen the different, um, you know, hazing, whatever you want to call it. How shocking is this to you? Well, as far as the character of Richie Incognito, it's not shocking at all. Um, nobody's really been a fan of him because we, we know, we've known him to be a dirty player. Um, but the, the magnitude of what he's doing at the rate he's doing it, you got to think, I mean, this is not hazing, you know, this is more hatred going on, you know, and our, our league doesn't have any room for that. We don't allow that in our league and, you know, we're not sending a good message with, uh, with what, what's being transpired down there in, uh, in Miami. Just so you can get in touch with uh, Tom Bahali, it's at Tom Bahali. That's 91, his Twitter handle there. Uh, the next game, you guys have Sunday Night Football against the Broncos. Everybody's looking forward to. But what can you tell us that you're doing with Vizio's uh, Fandemonium? Well, Vizio basically um, is an online community that allows fans to sign up and uh, sh- share their passion uh, for sports, uh, music, movies. Um, you basically earn points in um um, and, and then you're able to redeem redeem them. You can get a chance to go to the SPs. Uh, you can get a memorabilia sign, and you know, basically, it's easy. You sign, you you get log on. It's it's VizioFanZone.com. You log on, and it takes you through the steps. Okay, all right. Again, that's the Vizio Fandemonium. Uh, you can find out more information too on his Twitter handle. That's at TomBahali91. So, moving forward here. Is this the kind of season where, even though it's two and fourteen into the last year, that I mean, this is I mean, you were expected to do big things in the playoffs. Well, you, sad to say, we, we, we only focus on the, the game at hand, and that's the Broncos. And uh, you know, our, our, our goal right now is to be one and zero when we go in there in two weeks. You know, that's all we can look forward to. All right, man. Well, hey, it's great meeting you in person. All right, appreciate it. All right, <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs.